Welcome to our first video in our SOLIDWORKS CAM technology database series. In this video, we're going to be talking about creating tools. It should be the first step in customizing our database. So let's take a quick look. We simply can go to our mill tooling and we have an entire list of tools. SOLIDWORKS CAM does offer a complete list of different tools inside of the technology database. But lot, there's lots of instances where we want to either have a particular part number or maybe we got a different type of tool. Um, you know, maybe it's got three flutes instead of four or two that are the default on these end mills in here. So let's take a look at if I want to, you know, maybe add another half inch end mill. I could simply find the half inch end mills inside of the technology database. I can select and highlight one and then simply hit copy. It will create a brand new instance. I prefer doing it this way instead of modifying or deleting the other ones. I never know if they were used in another operation. So deleting them or modifying them uh, could cause problems down the road. So creating a new tool is as simple as hitting copy. I can then say, hey, I want to make this maybe three flutes. I'll change some of the nomenclature here. I can scroll down. You can see that I have a flute number here. I could do right hand, left hand, uh, material tool material, carbide and high speed steel is on by default. I can uh, put any sort of other information in. You know, if I have a vendor name that I want to put in, I could go ahead and type that in. Maybe I want to add another part number, something like that, very quick and easy. The other nice thing about coming in here and creating these tools is that I also have the ability to modify the tool uh, feeds and speeds and things of that nature. You know, not all end mills are created the same. So in this case, I could pick and choose what type of feed rate I want. Maybe this is, you know, a nice tool that can run up to a thousand surface uh, feet per minute. So I'll go ahead and type in a thousand. I can also change that maybe it's a through tool and I'm going to have my um, coolant go through the tool so I can pick and choose that. There's a couple uh, default options and then of course I also have two special options so if it's something that's outside of the selections in here I can go ahead and pick and choose. Once I'm done with all of this I'm going to go ahead and hit save and then we'll see at the bottom of my list I will now have that new end mill that I just created and as I scroll through I can see some of that information that I put in there you know like the vendor and description uh, I put in as a part number it also says you know three flute instead of the others uh, that are saying four and two so it's very quick and easy to add any type of tool just by making a copy and then changing that information next let's take a look at adding a custom tool in this case I have something already modeled there are a couple things that we need to be concerned about in here the first is of course that our zero zero point needs to be that bottom center of the tool the tool also needs to be a revolve feature once I have those items set up correctly I can very simply just create this tool inside of SOLIDWORKS on my SOLIDWORKS CAM tab, I can simply hit user defined tool slash holder. Once I make this selection, I can then browse and locate this item where I want. Our default location is going to be inside of program data. We will locate our SOLIDWORKS folder. We will then look for our uh, SOLIDWORKS CAM folder with the correct year. In this case, I'm using 2021. And then I can come in here to tooling and I can locate this under M tools for mill tools and I'll just go ahead and make a quick save. This is where all the other custom tools are already located. And then I got to go ahead and hit OK. And that's really it. Back inside our technology database, we just need to link information to the tool that I just created. We will go to our mill tooling and find our user defined tools. I can then pretty much do what we did with our end mill. Just grab one of these, hit copy. It creates a brand new tool. And then what I like to do is first go ahead and find that tool in a path so that my simulation model will be correct. I'll hit my little blue folder here and grab this custom tool that we just created. 
I can then simply change my tool ID and other items inside of here, similar to what we did for the end mill. So maybe custom tool, um, you know, something like that. I also like that I could simply copy and paste items, you know, something like that if I just wanted to fill out the different items. And then I would fill out the correct information on here, uh, shank diameter, cut diameter. Um, all those items are important, not only for simulation, uh, but also to make sure that we have the correct G-code uh, going on. Once I have correctly filled all this out, I simply hit save, and then I have that custom tool uh, located inside of here. So thanks for checking out this video. Uh, we were able to take a look at two different ways to add tools into our SolidWorks CAM technology database.